I am a cancer survivor. Uh, my first time I was diagnosed was in 1993. Uh, it was breast cancer. I had a mastectomy. It returned in 1997. It would leave for a couple months and come back. Um, it, it just becomes part of your life. You know, you don't, you don't even think about it after a while. It's in my um, lungs and uh, my liver now. It's come back every three or four years. Now I'm in stage four. Um, I will never go into remission. However, as I tell many people, my glass is half full because there are a lot of things I have to do before I leave this planet. And being at Antler Ridge is uh, always one of those. This is the happiest place on earth, Antler Ridge. And I thank Kelly every day for this place. Because of my cancer, I can't really deal with the animals because I can't get any of the shots, just in case they bite me or something. I do fundraising, and the money that we raise here for the uh, sanctuary here goes to feed the animals, the medicine. The animals are happy. They're happy to be tended to. They're affectionate. They love you. Um, everybody's happy here. Never, nobody's ever grumpy. You know, you, you leave here smiling. And as you go home, you call out to the goats, the lambs, it's, it's just so much fun. You know, I've never lived on a farm, so I find this really nice. It is, it's fun. Like I said, it's the best place on earth. It's just a happy, happy atmosphere. And for someone like me, um, it's really necessary. I've been living with breast cancer for about 18 years now, but I have a daughter and I would love to find a cure for breast cancer so she doesn't have to go through what I've gone through. We've all been touched with breast cancer in one form or another and I would just think that everybody would want to eradicate such a nasty, nasty disease. I've done the Avon walk, I've, I've crewed for them. Um, and even though I may not be able to walk it all the time, I can certainly volunteer my time for them to do whatever they want me to do. Same thing here, whatever Kelly wants, she sends me an email, yes, yes. and I do it. I love every minute of it, because I know it's for a great cause. I have a little craft corner here for people if they want to make a craft and take it home with them. I've also been helping people with uh, the tricky tray. Um, there's a quilt over here I made with some of the rehabilitated animals, and we're raffling that off in the bazaar. I, uh, I'm really one of the lucky ones that have gone this long, and I'm still living and I'm still kicking. I had a bucket list of all these different exotic places I wanted to go to, Israel and Vietnam and stuff. I've had to change it over the years, so I find closer places to go to and enjoy them just as much as I would have if I had gone to the other places. This is 2000, I've been fighting it with chemo and uh, hormone therapy, but uh, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I learned a long time ago, someone taught me, don't let the bastards get you down. <laughs> Thank you.